In this video, I'm gonna read a personal statement for someone who got into UCLA's Masters of Environmental Engineering program. It's a great personal statement example, not just for STEM folks, but for anyone. And if you wanna check out this same person's statement of purpose, you can watch that in my previous video. If you wanna see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. You can also download a PDF version of this essay when you sign up for my newsletter. A personal statement is really where you share about experiences or things that have happened in your life that may not have been relevant in your statement of purpose, which is more focused on the degree and the field that you're applying for. Here, they wanna know about who you are as a person and what you care about. And specifically in this UCLA application, they wanna know how you contribute to the diversity of their program, where they specifically ask, are there educational, personal, cultural, economic, or social experiences not described in your statement of purpose that have shaped your academic journey? If so, how? Have any of these experiences provided unique perspectives that you would contribute to your program field or profession? And then they go into various prompts, like describe any challenges or barriers that you faced in the pursuit of higher education, how have your life experiences or background informed your understanding of barriers facing groups that are underrepresented in higher ed? How have you been actively engaged in promoting activities to increase participation of historically underrepresented groups in higher ed? And how do you intend to engage in scholarly discourse, community engagement, that sort of thing to advance diversity and equal opportunity in higher ed? And how do you see yourself contributing to diversity in your profession after you earn an advanced degree? So these are questions that are pretty unique to the UCLA personal statement, but also they're very common questions that come up a lot in diversity statements statements, which are really important for a lot of scholarships. So you can watch my other video on what to put in a diversity statement if you're not sure how to answer questions like these in a diversity statement or in a personal statement. In first grade, I was placed into English second language classes because my teachers assumed English was not my primary language. As a Korean American woman growing up in predominantly white communities, I struggled when I did not see myself reflected in anyone at my schools. At a young age, this feeling of otherness hindered my belief in what I could achieve. Instead of being challenged like the other students, I was placed in a separate classroom with the computer as my instructor. The perceptions others held of me shaped the way I viewed myself. Unfortunately, I learned that this experience is not unique to me or other young women and people of color pursuing STEM fields. This is a great opening paragraph answering one of the prompts around what barriers has this person faced in their field. And we see that as a woman of color in STEM, they are unique by often being one of the few people in this field. Due to these experiences, I found alternative avenues to success by working in my community. As the project manager for seismic outreach at UCLA, I taught civil engineering curricula to middle school students. During the program, I met Jamal, a disruptive student. Through our time together, I learned that his outbursts were rooted in his frustrations with not understanding math. Jamal had never heard of an engineer, and it became clear to me that he did not have the resources to be successful in his math classes. I told Jamal that his creative mind added value to our classroom and observed a tangible change in his confidence level. At the end of the program, he expressed his desire to be a structural engineer. In all the ways that my teachers did not believe in me, I converted those experiences to empower and believe in Jamal. This is a great example answering one of the prompts around how do you contribute to increasing diversity. And we see that this person overcame the barriers that they've faced being a woman in STEM, and they took that and applied it to working with middle school students to encourage them to move into STEM fields. Education created barriers for students, including myself, and these difficulties continue to unravel in my career. Being the only woman on my 50 plus person job, I experienced microaggressions every day. Allison, you should smile. A girl shouldn't be so serious. Comments like this confirmed the expectations others had, which should not include me being a leader. I had to prove my leadership in my job by standing firm in my negotiations, arriving early in the mornings and staying later than my coworkers and memorizing the project drawings. Only then did I gain the respect for my position as a manager on this project. 
This is a great example continuing the theme of how this person overcame barriers and what they contribute to diversity by being one of the only women and what it's like to be a woman on a construction site and having to command and earn the respect of their team. And it's a really great tie back to something they write in their statement of purpose, which you can go back and watch that video where they talk about how a lot of members on their project team were fired and how they had to step up their leadership. Leadership. So these work really well together as examples in different essays. While working full time, I practice this commitment to supporting students of color in STEM fields by volunteering with high school students in Oakland. As a mentor with ACE Mentors, I saw how important it was for young people to engage with professionals in positions they may have never heard of. Students cannot be what they cannot see. Students should know that STEM fields are accessible regardless of past academic trauma or societal barriers to education. Therefore, in addition to my goals as an environmental engineer, I also plan to continue my work as an educator and mentor. The barriers I overcame to achieve success in the STEM field, along with my understanding of the structural barriers for women and people of color, have prepared me to be successful in the graduate environmental engineering program at UCLA. In this concluding paragraph, we see an excellent example of this person's commitment to supporting underrepresented people getting into STEM. And so we see another example of their mentorship while they're working full time, also mentoring in Oakland, similar to their mentorship experience when they were an undergrad at UCLA. And this is a really awesome way to show that this person really is committed to doing this. They didn't just do it one time, but they've done it even during their career. And we see how closely it's addressed the prompt that this person is a really great representative of what the UC diversity statement says and is asking for in this essay. To summarize, what makes us a really great personal statement is we get a sense of who this person is and what they care about and the contribution they want to make to diversity in the field of engineering as a female woman of color engineer and also as a mentor supporting young folks in getting into the STEM field. So as the reader, there's someone I'm rooting for that I'm like, yes, I want you in this program. And you really want to be able to make a case for yourself like that in your personal statement. Now, if you're someone who hasn't experienced a lot of adversity or you've never thought about diversity in this way, you should check out my other video on writing a diversity statement to get a sense for how to approach an essay like this. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. You can also download a version of this essay when you sign up for my newsletter and see my other sample essays. You can also come to my office hours where I give live feedback on essays.